Hi, I'm Karen Yates with Sky Insurance Brokers. I'm going to talk about um, the important coverages or the coverages included in a homeowner's insurance policy for first time home buyers. So, my son and his girlfriend are putting a bid on it on a home and they're first time home buyers, and it prompted me to think I should probably be educating people about this. So I wanted to get on here today and talk about the coverages that are included in a homeowner's policy, what's not included, and what coverages you need to be most aware of as a first time home buyer. So in a traditional HO3, which is homeowners three policy, there are 16 named perils or causes of loss. And I want to read the list real quick. They are fire or lightning, windstorm or hail, explosion, riots, aircraft, vehicles into the home, smoke, vandalism, theft, falling objects, weight of ice, snow or sleet, accidental discharge or overflow of water or steam, sudden or accidental tearing, cracking, burning or bulging, freezing, sudden and accidental damage due to short circuiting and volcanic eruption. So those are automatically covered items for or causes of loss. What is not included is flood, which is water rising, coming from outside of the home that rises and comes into the home, and earthquake. And here in California, not so much in Northern California where I am, but in California, we do need to be aware of earthquake, and that is always a separate policy, same as flood. So those are important coverages to at least ask about, whether you're in a flood zone or not, as we just saw in this crazy month of January, where we have doubled our amount of rain um, then, uh, uh, and double the average, um, there was a lot of flooding, including the same son and his girlfriend's uh, duplex that they rent. So they've been out displaced for about 18 days due to flooding that occurred inside their home. So it's important to know that's not included. The other thing I wanted to talk about um, as a first time home buyer, a lot of times when you go and you get a loan, your lender writes the loan and then they promptly sell that loan and it now goes to another company. And it might happen in the first 30 days, it might happen in the next six months, it might not happen at all. Anytime your mortgage company changes and the name of the company that you make your payment to changes, please be sure to notify your insurance agent immediately. A lot of times, first time home buyers, which I recommend, are having impound or escrowed accounts, which means you pay a little bit every month, goes into an account, and at renewal, your lender pays your taxes and your insurance for you. But if we have the wrong lender, we can't send the bill to the correct lender for them to make that payment and then your policy gets canceled. So anytime throughout the life of your loan, please know you need to let your agent know immediately so we can get the policy updated. Um, also, if something happens where we end up having to write a new policy and you get any kind of a refund, when you get that refund, because it's money you put into your impound account and your lender just makes the payment for you, the refunds go back to you. When you get that money, it's not free money, you need to make sure it goes back to your lender and that you ask them to apply it back into that impound account and credit that money back because they're going to be short that original policies payment and then a second policies payment so you need to make sure those funds go back. Please call me if you have any questions, I'd love to discuss this stuff further. Thank you.